I'm Sandra Wachter. I'm Professor of Technology and Regulation. I'm a lawyer by background and I work at the Oxford Internet Institute at the University of Oxford, where I also lead a research group that is called Get the Governance of Emerging Technologies. And that's what I do in my day job. I think about how to regulate new technologies. I'm very much interested in how to regulate AI um, at the moment, it, it has been something that has been at the back of my head for the back of my head, at the forefront of my research agenda for many, many years now. Um, and I think in the recent months, I got more and more interested in generative AI as well. So during my stay here, I, I hope to engage with uh, folks that are curious about how AI is being used in various sectors as well as generative AI. My top three fears uh, when it comes to AI, and that's true for AI being used in the workplace or for immigration or for criminal justice purposes, as well as for generative AI, there are certain risks where I always worry about it. And so one definitely has to do with bias and discrimination because the data that we collect is bias. It reflects the unfairness of our society. I'm also very worried about data protection issues because where there is data, there's data protection issues and algorithms don't work unless you put data into them. And the third has to do with explainability because those systems are really complex. Not even the folks who are creating those systems fully understand what's going on in the black box. And those yeah, are my top three uh, areas that I worry about for AI as well as for Gen AI as well. That's a very important topic. I think everybody who has been working in that space will, will know that there is probably bias in your system. I, I, because if, name one area of life that you think is absolutely fair. Is hiring fair? No. Is, is financial services fair? Is it fair who has to go to prison and who gets to go to a good university? No, those decisions are not always made in a fair way. And the data reflects that. And so it's to be assumed, in my opinion, and that's why I'm arguing for you should, you know, it should be assumed that your system has a problem unless you can prove otherwise. So that's something that I'm advocating a lot for is that you actually reverse the burden of proof and say, unless you can show me evidence of the opposite, I'm going to assume that your system has a problem. And in order to do so, I'm also advocating that there should be a range of bias tests that everybody has to do and the results are being made public so everybody can see whether or not a system is actually working as intended and that's important for legislators that's important for judges who have to deal with litigation at some point that's really important for civil society who might use that information to bring a case as well so i'm really much pushing for more uh, transparency so we know black on white on whether or not the systems are biased or not I think there are a lot of folks who could actually contribute um, in, in making those systems fairer and, and more accountable. I think there is uh, a responsibility, there should be a responsibility on, on the side of who is creating those systems, the people who are building the systems. They have a responsibility to make sure that those systems are accountable or transparent or fair or unbiased and those types of things, um, then there's a responsibility of people who take those systems and put them into certain sectors. So this is, you know, people that work in immigration, this is people who are HR managers, this is the school board that decides to use AI to decide if children should be admitted to certain schools or not. And then there is um, definitely responsibility of the regulator who has to think about what type of system should be allowed to be created and when they should be implemented as well. And lastly, I think it's us, um, every one of us, because again, it's, it's just because a technology does exist doesn't mean we have to use it. There's a lot of rhetoric of like AI is here, it's here to stay, just live with it. No, you don't. It's, it's not something that we have to take for granted. And so us as, as, as the public, we can chip in as well and have an informed discussion on whether we want those systems. And so if we think about that as a holistic way, then I think we can have the technologies that society actually wants.